Hello everyone, this is Blog Fit Tarot, and I am here to do a weekend reading for the collective. That means all signs, so keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time is fluid, so this reading can resonate over the weekend. It can resonate later on down the line in time after the weekend, or this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance. So I didn't get any messages during the pre-shuffle, so I'm going to show you guys what's at the bottom of the decks that I'm using. We have Return, The Fiery Ring, New Skills, Advanced Training, Rapid, rapid Improvements. We have Low Vibes, so Bad Energy, The Queen of Swords. Grassland, Perfect Timing, Inner Peace, Photo Proof Getting Evidence, They Got Caught, so Collective, you guys could be a Divine Feminine, or dealing with a, a Divine Feminine. In denial. So, concerning love and romance, somebody could be in denial about somebody returning. So, somebody lover could be in denial. Somebody's lover don't want to accept that something probably over or something. I heard somebody meant what they said. So, somebody could be in denial about something. That their lover told them or collective. Your lover could be in denial that some about something you said or something. Or in order for like a um for someone to return, there's a need for someone to detach with love to clearly see the truth. In order for somebody to return to someone, there's a need for a de detachment. All right. So, so let me put you guys our overall message. Spirit, give me a message for the collective. All right. So um, this came out sideways. It's sideways. It says Fiona and the unicorn, the gift of sacred sight. So um, collective, for some of you guys, y'all third eye could be um, blocked. Or something. Over the weekend. Some of y'all be careful. Spirit wants you to know your third eye could be could be blocked. Or somebody that could be claiming to have the gift of sacred sight. Somebody could be lying a little bit about something. About their third eye. Or having the gift of sacred sight. Collective you or somebody else. Or somebody's third eye is blocked. Or somebody's third eye is going to get blocked over the weekend or something. Or become unbalanced. So the number is 29. The number is 92. February 9th could be significant. September the 2nd could be significant. The number is 11. And or the number is 2. So that came out sideways. Fiona and the unicorn. Collective, for some of you guys... Um, Y'all be careful of somebody saying something about their third eye. Or somebody trying to offer you a spiritual service. Because this other person's third eye could be blocked or something. Or somebody lying about something about their third eye. Or um something they saw or something. Somebody lying about something. Or not telling the whole story or something like that. So this gift of sacred sight collected don't have to be you. Spirit wants you to know something about somebody else or something like that. This person could be 29. This person could have been born in um, February the 9th or uh, September the 2nd or something. All right, what's the collective angel influence over the weekend? 
Taurus's angel answer. All right. So meditation brings answers. So that's our angel answers to meditate. I was looking for the book, and then we have big happy changes. Collective, for some of y'all, I'm picking up. For some of y'all, it's better to do something yourself. If you guys are dealing with like a spiritualist or something, it's better to do something yourself. And you're going to receive like big happy changes if you meditate for answers. Instead of like maybe going to somebody else for a service. I heard getting someone to interpret something for you. So for some of you guys, it's best that you meditate for answers. Be patient for an uh, answer. Then to try to get somebody else to interpret something for you. Because this person's third eye or something could be blocked. Or someone is not a seer like they claim to be. Or something like that. So y'all better off doing something yourself or being patient about getting answers or something. I heard be mindful of quick responses. Be mindful of quick responses. What is the book? For the, the Angel Answer book. I can't find it. All right. All right. Spirit, what's going on over the weekend? For Friday? So some type of diligence going on on Friday. What's going on Saturday? What's going on Saturday? New beginnings. What about Sunday? What's going on Sunday? Flexibility. Collective, I heard on Sunday, major arcana energy going on. Like something might happen that's out of y'all control. Good or bad. But this flexibility is a major arcana. Um, a major arcana on Sunday. Something going on with a major arcana. Or something being out of y'all control on Sunday. Collective, for some of y'all, I heard on Sunday... Collective, y'all might get good news on Saturday. Y'all could be going on a trip or traveling. And collective, it might be somebody that show up and say, oh, I want to go. So I'm hearing y'all could have had something all planned out. And somebody might show up or add on something that's like unexpected. So some of you guys, y'all should like let this person come with y'all or something. So y'all should be flexible about something because something might happen unexpectedly. Or it's like you already had everything planned and then it's like something might happen unexpectedly. And y'all should be flexible with someone or someone should be flexible with you or something. But I kind of picked up somebody traveling. And then somebody going to say, can you add me on? Can you squeeze me in? Or something like that. And collective for some of y'all, y'all should. All right. So I'm going to pull two places, things, or activities. That's going to be safe and wholesome for you over the weekend. And I'm going to pull two um, places, things, or activities that you guys should be cautious of over the weekend. All right, Spirit, what's um, safe, good, and wholesome for the collective over the weekend? We have a lighthouse. Guiding light, symbol of hope, watchful sentinel. Watchful sentinel. So a lighthouse. I'm picking up this energy is also um, prayers and meditations. Like, be watchful um, and, like, patient or keep a close eye on something. So, watchful sentinel. So, something to do with a lighthouse or a guiding light. 
some type of symbol of hope and um watchful sentinel that's good safe and wholesome for you give me one more that's good safe and wholesome for the collective a swimming pool sunbathing and tanning pool games and fun pool parties All right, Spirit, give me two places, things, or activities that the collective should be partial to. An uh, airport. Travel hub, departure and arrival, airport lounge. I'm picking up don't break rules. Abide by capacity. Um guidelines and things so collective say like um you getting on an airplane or something and or something to do with your luggage and somebody say oh you gotta wait because we reached capacity collective don't try to force the issue if somebody tell you something has reached its full capacity don't push the issue Something to do with an airport. Or be careful of your surroundings at an airport. <clears throat> I'm hearing if, um, don't push the issue about something at an airport. Collective, whether you're traveling or you work for an airport, don't push the issue about something. Follow rules and protocol. I heard intuitively, intuitively ca ca capacity. Then we have bustling hub. This is also my car for New York. Social nexus, lively activities, cultural melting pot. So a bustling hub, be mindful of a bustling hub and or like New York. Collective, for some of you guys, if y'all traveling like by airport, airplane, if you had an option um, to like, say like if you get off at a stop, you could have had a, you had a choice between like, you could have got off in New York or Atlanta or don't choose New York, choose like the other state or something like that. If you have like options like some of y'all don't choose New York or be very cautious about New York or something. I just heard a flea market too. Cause I think for the most part in the United States, we don't have this. We don't have bustling hubs. Um, but concerning like the United States, this is my New York card, but I also heard a flea market. I just heard a flea market. So y'all be cautious of a flea market. If y'all in the United States, for other you guys, if you're not in the United States and you have things like this, like bustling hubs in your country or whatever, be cautious of this type of setting. Not saying don't do it, but just be cautious. For some of you guys, it might be an animal on a roof and like this bustling hub or somewhere in New York. It's like it's an animal on a roof somewhere. So be careful. That's what I just saw. Like an animal on a roof.
All right. Or somebody might mistake something for an animal, but it's not an animal or something. Somebody might also mistake something for something, but it's not what this person thought it was or something like that. Okay, so let's see what you guys can expect in Lover Romance. So, I'm going to do a reading for, like, the collective, just in general, a general reading. I'm going to pull a card. And then I'm going to do for Love and Romance for the twins. So, Spirit, what can a collective expect in Love and Romance? So, this energy can tie in with the Twin Flame message, but it don't necessarily have to. All right. What can a collective expect over the weekend in Love and Romance? What's going on? Passion. So... Try something new you've never done before. So this is what could be going on. It, something concerning love and romance. It might happen on Saturday. Because that's where I put this passion card. And you guys might be trying something new you've never done before. And love and romance is a new beginning. Or you guys might have a new lover. Some of you guys, I heard you and your lover is trying like a new dish. So some of y'all, this could be this could be food. You and your lover could be trying a new dish. Or your lover is introducing you to a new dish or something. Some type of new beginnings. And then we got here and now. Your true love is already a part of your life. <clears throat> All right. So some type of passion going on for you guys over the weekend. A lot of romance. That's what's going on. Or that's what you guys can expect. For some of you guys, this is going to happen Saturday. Some type of new beginning. All right. Spirit, what's going on with the twins over the weekend? Solitude. So, Collective, you can be with your twin and you're in solitude with your twin. So, y'all could be away from y'all family and friends or the norm. Y'all could be in a new state, a new town. If you're with your twin, you and your twin together could be in some type of solitude. Or y'all might be in, um, maybe this passion is the solitude for some of you guys. Y'all could have been around y'all twin for too long. And this newness is you guys being like in separation. Or something. For some of y'all. Or y'all just might be in solitude for a little while. And then might meet back up with your twin or something. For some of you guys, this solitude energy, y'all haven't met y'all twin yet. So some of y'all is in solitude because you haven't met your twin yet. On the weekend. Yeah. Some of you guys, y'all haven't met your twin yet because you're not awakened or your twin is not awakened. Collector, for some of you guys, you might take your twin like on a trip or a road trip or something. Y'all twin could be going through something and they're not awakened. And y'all might say let's get away or let's go do something or something y'all twin not awaken it so y'all might take y'all twin on vacation or something because they could be going through something but y'all twin not awaken it balancing the scales yeah yeah so some of you guys could be a libra dealing with a libra or got libra placements Collective, for some of you guys, your twin is doing something a little bit foolish. 
So, collective, you could be alone because your twin not awaken and they trying to balance the scales or get their own karmic justice. And collective, you like, you're in solitude because your twin trying to do something, but they're not awakened to something. And you like, do whatever floats your boat. That's not a good idea. Y'all could be telling y'all twin something is not a good idea. Y'all twin could be a Libra, don't have to be, or got Libra placement. Yeah, divine timing flew out. Yeah. Or collective, if you're interacting with your twin and you like do something passionate with your twin, it's you balancing the scales. It was a wise decision. It was a good idea. For some of y'all, this could be you guys taking your twin like on a trip or a drive or something like that so they can clear their head because y'all twin not awakened. And it was a wise decision. It was a right thing to do. Like to go in solitude with your twin. For some of you guys, y'all could be trying to protect your twin or something like that. Somebody, I also see the twins or one of the twins. Somebody don't know how to balance the scales. So somebody could be in solitude thinking. Somebody is like. How am I going to balance the scales? I don't know what's the right thing to do. What am I going to do? I don't know what's the right thing to do. So somebody could also be alone in solitude trying to figure something out. So this don't have to be someone is not awakened. This could just be somebody's trying to figure out how to awaken to a balance, this, balance the scales. Or somebody's trying to figure out something or solve a problem. Somebody could be trying to come up with some type of idea. Somebody don't know how to make something right or fix something. What's going on with solitude? Yeah, abandoned. Yeah. So somebody probably feel abandoned because their twin is not awakened. Collective, if your twin abandoned you, your twin is in solitude. And they could, like, feel ashamed that they abandoned you. Or it's like your twin so unawakened. It's like they abandoned you and they don't know that they're wrong. Because they're not awakened. So it's like they don't realize that they were wrong or something. Clarify unawakened. Yeah, I mean. hmm. So numbing came out sideways and Fiona and the unicorn came out sideways. Somebody's twin over the weekend might be starting to tap into their emotions. Or if somebody was like numbing, like doing drugs or something, this person might balance something. And maybe this person might stop numbing so much or stop getting high. So this is kind of like the same energy I picked up last night during the After Dark reading for Divine Feminines. Um, I, I'm also hearing... Divine Feminine, your twin could be swinging back and forth because they're going through like the awakening process and they're swinging back and forth. So, collective, this could be like your twin energy, your Divine Masculine. Their third eye could be a bit blocked or something. So, somebody's not perceiving something correctly. Or somebody's third eye is uh, in the process of becoming unblocked. Or somebody's third eye is blocked. Just numbing. So somebody could also be like in recovery. Or taking a break from some type of numbing. So it's like they're not seeing something clearly. Yeah.
So, Divine Feminine, for some of you guys, if you saw some type of progress in your twin, like in the past or the recent past, you might witness them regress, like go backwards a little bit. But it's the scales being balanced out. So, last night, the energy that I picked up on was that Divine Feminine, your twin was awakening to something, but they were numbing. So, awaken was in the upright and numbing was in the upright. Now that your twin is unawakened again, this numbing is coming out sideways. So, it's like something is like going back and forth or swinging back and forth, but it's actually being balanced. So, the scales, yeah. Something is like spirit could be trying to balance. Spirit is in the process of balancing out your twin. Because that's why, I like, I, yeah. Yeah, that's what's going on. Somebody is being in, somebody is in the process of being balanced out. So, it's like they go back and forth. It's like this person teeter tot, But it's, that's being balanced. It's like when your twin not awakened to something, they don't get high. When they become awakened to something, they get high. So it's like I'm hearing somebody got to feel what it's like in both energies. Or somebody got to experience both energies or something or see both energies or realize something. So I'm kind of, I kind of see in the cards and I heard, you know how people say nothing in life is perfect. So it's a little bit of something like that. But through the through the confusion, um, cause you know how you have a scale and you're trying to balance it out and it go up and down. Eventually, if you know if you handle the scale correctly, it's going to like settle and balance out. So something like that is going on. And then we got the fifth dimension. We're probably balancing the scales. The fall yeah so something might be like balanced or somebody going to be completely balanced or somebody's going to get clarity or something like that in the fall so divine feminine if you and your twin is like your relationship unstable or or it's like you interacting with your twin but you like keep your twin twin at a distance because they're going through the awakening process and it's probably annoying to you. Your twin is like going to make up their mind. They're going to find some type of peace. Or they're going to officially be balanced out in the fall. Before the fall fall season is done with your friend. Your friend. Your twin is like going to have a made up mind. Or something is just going to be complete. Like their full awakening process. So I'm hearing don't be discouraged if you don't see improvement or you feel as though somebody's going backwards. Give something to the fall. By the end of the fall, the scales is going to be balanced. Divine Feminine, for some of you guys, I heard you want perfection and that's kind of like not realistic. Or you want something done in your timing and that's doing more harm than good to the process. Or somebody's looking for, for perfection, like, in the wrong way or something. Divine Feminine, for some of you guys, your twin could be having a pity party. And your twin could be accusing you of abandoning them, but they're not awakened. They're not awakened. And Divine Feminine, y'all twin going to realize something by the time the fall is done. So before the winter time, your twin is going to realize something. So y'all twin could be perceiving something wrong and blaming something on you. Or they're having like a pity party or something. Because they're saying you abandoned them or something. Or Divine Feminine, your twin could have really abandoned you. 
but they're not looking at it properly, like a situation properly or something. Or it's not the time for somebody to realize something. Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine, for some of y'all, it's best not to bring something up. Because if you bring something up, your twin might, your twin is going to like reject you or your twin going to start getting high or something. Or don't tell somebody something. It's like when this person is unaware of something, they're more willing to tap into their emotions. Or like they don't do as much drugs or something. I also heard for some of you guys, if your twin is sleeping longer than normal, that's a good thing because their body could be detoxing from drugs. So like let your twin sleep or something. Longer than normal. So this awakening could be somebody sleeping. So divine feminine, say like your twin call you and say, I'll be there around three. Divine feminine, four o'clock come your twin don't show up. And you calling your twin. And you like, you told me you was going to be here at three. Divine Feminine, somebody still being asleep is the scales being balanced. Because spirit could be detoxing like your twin or giving your twin sufficient rest. Or it's like Divine Feminine, spirit might appear to your lover in a dream. And is trying to give your lover an answer to something. And you want something done in your timing. It's like you interrupting the process. Because you want somebody to wake up. And you like, you told me you was going to be here at 3 o'clock. Wake up. Mm -mm. Or your twin needs to detox from something. So them being asleep is good. Or something like that. <clears throat> So, Divine Feminine, you could be in solitude and you feel abandoned. Divine Feminine, for some of y'all, be careful. Because somebody is not as intuitive as they appear. And somebody is like when they do your reading, they're not going to see something clearly. So, this could be something as simple as you want to read it and you want to know why your twin always late. And it's like this reader is not picking it up intuitively that your twin is on drugs and they need to detox or something like that. So I'm going to give an example. It's like divine feminists. They're like your twin on drugs or something. And if you wake this person up too early and you saying, Come, I need a ride and you rushing your twin, it's like divine feminine. If you wake your twin up too soon and a, a process is not done, it's like y'all might get into a car accident or your twin sleepy and they might fall asleep at the wheel or something because you was rushing something because you felt abandoned or something like that going on. Yeah, something. Divine Feminine, you might, um, Divine Feminine, if you guys are looking for answers, go into prayers and meditations over the weekend, Divine Feminine. Before winter hit, Divine Feminine, you're going to have, um, an answer. You're going to have an answer. So some of you guys, y'all want to know why y'all want answers. Y'all want some type of revelation. Y'all want something interpreted for you guys. But I'm in this energy, I'm picking up be patient. And before the winter get here, before the winter season, Divine Feminine, you're going to get like karmic justice. And this could be like an understanding, a revelation. 
or somebody could be trying to unblock their third eye in a way that's not good or something and spirit is saying wait until the fall don't be like in a rush wait until the fall or something Yeah, so that's something like that going on with the twins. Yeah, so that's the messages for the twins. All right, so let's see why somebody might be mad at you guys. All right. Spirit, why someone might be mad at the collective on Friday? This person or people might be mad at the collective on Friday. Friday, you make more money, and Friday is usually payday. So the might that somebody gonna be mad at y'all on Friday because you make more money than them. So the might that for some of y'all, this could be a coworker that's mad at you, and they're comparing their check to your check or something or something. So somebody mad at y'all on Friday because you make more money than them. Why is somebody mad at the collective on Saturday? So I heard somebody got a guilty conscience, Divine Feminine. So somebody mad at you because they have a guilty conscience and something going on with calculations. So Divine Feminine, you didn't calculate something right or you didn't calculate something yet. And somebody got a guilty conscience and they mad at you. So, Divine Feminine, you could be having... Divine Feminine, for some of y'all, y'all probably not good with math. Or something. <laughs> or somebody wants you to realize something and you're not realizing something or something. So, that's why somebody mad at you. Because you're having a hard time calculating something. Oh, okay. Divine Feminine, on Saturday, this is Divine Timing. Divine Feminine, on Saturday, somebody wanted you to figure something out by Saturday. Or somebody wanted you to know something so they can go off on you. But it's going to get stuck. So, Divine Feminine, this is somebody like provoking you on purpose or... Or something. It's like this person wanted to be provoked so they can offend you. Somebody want, is provoked, trying to provoke a situation, but it's going to get stuck. So it's like a divine feminine because you didn't calculate something yet or you're miscalculating something. This person is waiting for you to find something out or to get down to the bottom of something so that they can like go off on you. So divine feminine, for some of you guys, somebody wants you to confront them. But it's like this person is saying, well, I know Divine Feminine going to find out. And when Divine Feminine do and Divine Feminine confront me, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that to Divine Feminine. And Divine Feminine, this person wanted to happen on Saturday. But it's like going to get stuck. So Divine Feminine, for some of you guys, what somebody wanted you to know or figure out because they have a guilty conscience, what they wanted you to... Somebody wanted something to happen and like, let's get this over with. Divine Feminine, you ain't going to find out till the winter season. Somebody wanted something to be over on Saturday. Or something like that. But Divine Feminine, you're not aware of something. So it's like this person got to keep their anger in check because you're not aware of something. Because somebody want to get like aggressive with you. But this person is still mad because they got to keep their cool. Somebody got a guilty conscience. I saw the Nine of Swords. I saw the Nine of Swords. Yeah, so that's why somebody mad at y'all. Yeah. So, Divine Feminine, somebody could be keeping secrets from you or somebody did you wrong. And you don't know yet or something like that. You don't know something yet. All 
All right. What's going? Why is somebody gonna be mad at the collective uh, on Sunday? You snap back after the baby. So the right feminine, somebody mad because you snap back after the baby and you don't tolerate fuckery. So the right feminine, this could be a competitor in love or your child's mother or child's father. For some of y'all, y'all dealing with a jealous coworker. And y'all could be back from like maternity leave and this coworker didn't want you to come back to work. Or something. Divine feminine for some of you, I mean collective for some of you guys, you're like traveling or something, like maybe in a group, <clears throat> but it's work related. And you have like a coworker or something that could be jealous of you. And for some of y'all, y'all could be going back to work at the maternity leave or something. Y'all going back to work. Divine Feminine, I'm also picking up when you was on maternity leave, somebody filled your position and they was making your amount of money. But since you're back at work, it's like this person got to go back to their normal position and they don't make as much money as you in their original position. Divine Feminine, for some of you guys, y'all co-worker that got an issue with you. This person probably, this person almost didn't make this trip because they couldn't afford it. Or something. Or Divine Feminine, you aware that this co-worker, or collective, you're aware this co-worker don't like you. And you don't want this person to go on this trip with you or something. But y'all should be flexible with someone. Um, collective, for some of you guys, I heard keep something professional. Because if you don't if you don't let this person exercise their rights, this person wants you to do something to them. Because if you don't let them exercise their rights, they, they're going to tell on you or something. So I heard that too. So collective, this is like a co-worker. Collective, y'all could be the boss or the manager or something. You and this person not getting along. If you do something personally against someone and don't keep something professional, this person wants you to do this. Because this person is like, collective, you aware this person offended you or you're aware somebody don't like you. But keep something professional. Do what's right. So, this, you, so you won't leave this person no room to offend you. So this is like your coworker or somebody you hired. Okay, I'm going to give y'all an example. Collective, say like you got a coworker, or you the boss or you the manager. And on a personal level, you found out your coworker or this person you hired was sleeping around with your lover. But y'all going on a trip or something. This coworker or this person you hired is waiting for you to say, oh, you ain't coming. So don't bring something personal to a professional setting. Because this person is like, this person wants you to do this so they can like bring a complaint against you or something. So it's like somebody wants you to do something or something like that. So they can get you in trouble. Because this person could have offended you morally. And y'all probably work together or this is somebody you hired or something like that. So that's why be flexible with somebody. Because somebody know what they did to you. But you have to be flexible with something. So somebody trying to pull y'all into a trap or something. But this person offended you first. This person did you wrong. So keep something personal. I mean keep something professional. Even though this person offended you like on a personal level. Still keep something professional. I also heard, collective, for some of you guys, it's somebody that don't like you on Sunday. 
collective, you could be you could be starting to become suspicious of this person and you don't really know what this person did, but you know this person don't like you. And this person wanted to tell you between Saturday and Sunday, but collective, it's not the time for you to know something. Or how this person want to tell you something is not right. So spirit is telling you to meditate. So y'all could be wanting to know why somebody don't like y'all. Somebody want to tell you something or somebody want to embarrass you. But it's not the right time for y'all to know. For some of y'all, the person that's actually helping you is offending you. Or the person that you're helping is offending you. And spirit don't want y'all to know just yet. And this person want to tell you or this person want to embarrass you. So, collective, say like y'all all bored, y'all everybody getting on the bus. And you know for whatever reason, you know somebody don't like you, but y'all don't know why. And it's like this person like, I'm coming, I'm coming, slow down, wait for me. It's like, collective, somebody waiting for you to say, no, you ain't coming because you late. That's when this person was going to go off on you and tell you something. So be flexible with somebody. Because somebody wants to expose something the way they want to expose it. And that's not a wise choice. How somebody want to do something is not good. It's not good. And spirit is saying no. It's going to get exposed like this. Not the way the karmic wants something exposed. Or something like that. Some of y'all could be dealing with y'all child's mother or child's father. Collective, you could be a man. And you could be dealing with a female who was doing spell work on you. And when she gave birth, like, the spell work could have broke or something. So somebody, like, nitpicking. Somebody trying to work themselves up to a finger. Yeah, something like that going on. So this is your own child's mother, own child's father. Or, like, a co-worker. Or something like that. But this person really mad because you snapped back after the baby or a spell broke. So collective, for some of you guys, y'all could be dealing with a spiritualist too. And this person like lied to you about what they actually do. And this person want to tell you or something. So y'all be careful of somebody that you get a spiritual service from or collective. For some of y'all, this is your coworker and y'all was getting a spiritual service or something from a coworker. Like y'all work in a traditional setting, but like when y'all not at work, it's like this person could be doing like spell work for you or giving you readings because somebody not really a seer. So this person could have told you that they're a seer, but this person do, do be doing something else. Or something like that. Alright, so let me get... Wait, let me... Uh, let me use my deck a little bit. Collective, so some of y'all, y'all be careful because somebody out here petty. Um, this karmic energy, collective, um, this is like you, collective, say like you a female. And you recently had a baby and you snapped back at the, the baby. This karmic, you could have known this karmic over a period of time. And you go to this karmic for like tarot readings. Collective, this person was lying to you in your readings. 
because they're jealous of your physical appearance. Like, this is something like just, this, this is, this is like trash. Um, very low vibrational, very karmic like. This is trash. You don't lie to someone. This is like something was serious and somebody didn't take something serious and they offended you for low vibrational reasons. But the situation could have been serious. So collective, you could have been seriously going to someone for readings and this person was lying to you because they're jealous of your physical appearance. It's like, who got time for that? And collective, you might say, but I paid you. You jealous of me, but I paid you though. So you couldn't put your jealousy aside for the money? And you still offended me? I paid you and you was lying to me? Or something like that. Something is trash. The reason why somebody was offending you. It's, it's just trash. It's trash. Very low vibration. Or this person should have just told you to stay away from them if they knew they was jealous of you or something. This is a karmic. Somebody low vibrational. Collective for other you guys, y'all could be like heavy set. And this person, this karmic could be like skinny. And they want it to be like heavy set like you or something. So this is women. This some this is like some women stuff. This is dumb. The reasons why this person offended you. So collective for some of you guys, somebody could have been ciphering like somebody could have been doing uh third eye magic on you or somebody was trying to cipher your health or something like that. So y'all could be skinny and this person want to be skinny like you, but they could be heavy set or collective. This person, this karmic is skinny and they want it to be your size or something. All right. So let me put some messages. Yeah. They, he, she don't care in danger. So collective, somebody could have been putting you in danger and they don't even care. I also heard for some of you guys, the signs at play, the sun signs is Libra, Virgo, and Aquarius. So collective, this karmic could be those signs or you're those signs. Somebody was putting y'all in danger for low vibrational reasons and they don't care. They wanted to cipher your health or they was taking your money for a service and wasn't doing what they were supposed to do or something. And this person don't care. Collective, for some of you guys, this person was mad because you make more money than them. So, collective, say like you dealing with a coworker or somebody you hire. You make more money than this person, but they're like a spiritualist. So, this person was like, I'm going to get them both ways. I'm going to take this person money. And then when they pay me to do the service, I'm not going to do what they want to do. I'm going to do something else. So, somebody was being hateful. Cause you make more money than them so they it's like they wanted to like drain you um or something like that so y'all be careful of like this could be traditional work but it's like this person is like a tarot reader or something and they work with you so this is like y'all working at a hospital or y'all work at mcdonald's but on the side this person do tarot or they do spells or something but you make more money than this person Collective, y'all also be careful if you're the boss or you're the manager. It's like you tell this person what to do at work. You tell them what to do. But this person brought you into their world and they started like taking ownership of you. Because this person, like you don't tell me what to do. You the boss at work on the 3D, but you ain't the boss when I do what I got to do or something like that. So y'all be careful with somebody that's petty. This person don't like your position or something, or they don't like that you make more money than them. So this person, I heard this person wanted to, want to waste your time, your life, and your money.
I heard this is defiance. Somebody was being defiant for like no reason. So y'all be careful of a spiritualist or somebody that claimed to do to be a seer or something. All right, spirit, what's going on? Yeah, vitamins. Yep, see, vitamins. Collective, you or this person could be Jamaican. You or somebody else could be Jamaican. Somebody could have, collective, you could have been going somebody. This is not, this is something that's off the books. Um, This is not FDA approved. Some type of vitamins, you was buying vitamins from somebody. Or somebody gave you the wrong regimen. Somebody could have a regimen for like Jamaicans, Caucasian people. Um, somebody, somebody was telling, lying to y'all about something. So collective, say like if you were Jamaican and this person in charge of something. So they created some vitamins. They got vitamins for Caucasian people, African Americans, and Jamaicans. Collective, you were Jamaican. This person gave you the vitamins that's meant for Caucasian people or something. Somebody was doing something to y'all on purpose. So something going on with vitamins. This could be for your body, your hair. This vitamins could have also been like a lotion or a potion or something. And this person, Jamaican or collective, you are a house and a home. So y'all could have used to probably go to this person's house. Or this person used to come to your house. Water. Jealousy. So a, Jamaican, a Jamaican could be jealous of y'all. Or collective because you're Jamaican, this person jealous of you. So that's something that's going on. So this, these vitamins could have been like water. Or collective, you thought you was taking vitamins, but you was like drinking water. Somebody was wasting y'all time. Or this person sold this sold these vitamins out their house or something. So some vitamins could actually be nothing but water. They're not even vitamins. It's water or something. Yeah, demons. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Collective, you could be blessed. And this person don't like you. Because you're blessed. Or this person like worship demons or something. So something going on with demons, yeah. So y'all let somebody in y'all house that y'all should not have, or you was going to this person's house and you should not have been at this person's house. Or spirit wants you to know it's demons that's jealous of you. <clears throat> and y'all could be a Jamaican, or these demons is using a Jamaican to do something to you. Because it's jealousy. Yeah. Or this could be a Jamaican doing this to another Jamaican or something. Yeah, so something like that going on. So I can read this card these cards so many ways. So something going on with some vitamins at a Jamaican's house. These vitamins probably was nothing but water because this person did this or scammed you out of jealousy and they can have demon attachments or this person assumed you had demons on you or something. Y'all be careful of somebody that's crazy too. that's crazy so collective say like you dealing with somebody who is like heavy set or this person could be skinny whatever it is it's like something that could be cloaked or it's the total opposite of what this person is advertising 
say like this person that you're dealing with is skinny. And this person is like, let me, I'm trying to give an example. Collective, say like this person is skinny. And this person really don't like heavy set people. But this person tell people, I don't like being skinny. So I made up a, a vitamin regimen for people to help them lose weight or something. This person is skinny and they say they got a passion for helping people lose weight. But they really don't like heavy set people or overweight people. So in this person's mind, this person is like, oh, only demons come to me. And this person created a product. Because this person think all overweight people is demons. Or this person say heavyweight people got uh, glutton demons or something on them. So instead of this person actually making a product to actually help people. It's like this person make heavy set or overweight people worse. Because they think in their mind heavy set people got demons on them or something. Somebody crazy. But this person sitting at home doing spell work or witchcraft. And this person said, only demons come to me or something. I heard somebody say that. And this person put out a product for like people to lose weight. But it's like killing these people or something. Because they think heavyweight people is demons or something like that. Something is like, I heard slick defied. Something is slick. This person doing something slick. It's like somebody advertising one thing, but they doing something totally opposite because they got their own personal agenda or somebody done lost their mind. And they're targeting a certain group of people. And whatever this person be chanting at home, this person say, um, only demons come to me. So, collective, say like it's somebody out here that really believe all heavyweight all overweight people is demons. So this person made a vitamin say I help you lose weight. This person trying to kill you or something. Because they think if they kill you, they killing the, the demon. So this person think they a demon slayer or something like that. Somebody crazy. So collective, y'all be careful of like... um. People that claim to be spiritualists, but they really done lost their mind and they on their own program and they not balanced. So be careful of like spiritualists or people that's like crazy and it's not obvious and it take only meditations for answers or something. Or this person don't like Jamaicans or something. Or this Jamaican don't like heavy set people or skinny people or something. Somebody a little crazy. And they think they're a demon slayer or something. But they're like killing people. Or trying to. Or collective this person is personally targeting you. This person can have demons at their house. And these demons telling this person something. Somebody's not really intuitive for how they think they are. Or something like that. Like if you could be a man and this could be your child's mother or child's father, y'all child's mother or child's father could be a little crazy and crazy. That's why somebody mad. So something could also be about sex too. And this is somebody y'all had sex with before or this is like y'all competitor in love. Somebody is crazy.
So, collective, this is like you dealing with a woman. Y'all had kids together. And she mad because she was doing spell work on you during her whole pregnancy. And when she gave birth, you snapped out of it. And this woman telling in her mind, because she crazy, she's saying you a demon or something. This is like somebody putting a spell on you. It's not working. And they say you're a demon because the spell work broke. And then this person's mind, they really think that you're a demon. But it's like this person really mad. Maybe you don't want to have sex with this person. Or this is somebody that put you under an illusion or something. Yeah, so we got the four pentacles. The chariot. The ace of pentacles. The six of wands. Y'all could be dealing with a narcissist. Collective, I see if this person can't victimize you, they just gonna go off and victimize somebody else. So don't fall for something. Because some of y'all, y'all might have to fire someone. Like, properly fire this person. Keep something professional and fire somebody. Yeah. Because somebody could have gave y'all something to drink or something. Well, I also saw somebody might leave something at your doorstep. Collective, y'all could have paid for whatever this is. And this person could have left it, like, on your doorstep. But it's like you becoming suspicious of this person. And you might break ties with this person or you might fire this person. Somebody made y'all an offer. Collective, you could be an earth sign or you could be a cancer with earth placements. Or well, this person did this to you in the past and they trying to do it to you again. But it's like now you holding back. Collective, for some of y'all, when this person figure out you're becoming suspicious, they're going to leave you alone. They're going to leave you alone. This person could be a narcissist. And they're like a spiritualist at that. That's, that's crazy. That's dangerous and that's scary. So a spiritual narcissist. Or this person going to leave something on your porch or something. Like some type of water or something. So basically for some of you guys, you're paying for this person to offend you. For some of y'all. And they know it too. You're paying for this person to like offend you. I also heard this person um, gave you something. Because they... It's like in this cup is tears. And they made you think it was like self-love, self-awareness. Or this person made you think something was going to bring you some type of self-awareness. Self but in reality, they knew it was going to give you nothing but tears. This person could also be a cancer. And collective, y'all holding back from somebody. The chariot could also be war. So, collective, somebody wanted to war with you, go to war with you. So, collective, this could be literally a situation. You work with somebody at a traditional job. This person don't like the fact that you're in charge or you make more money than them. So, this person brought you into their world. They made you an offer. They brought you into their world because they're like a spiritualist of some sort. And this person tried to take control of you or have dominance over you because you could probably be in charge of them at work or something. This person, the narcissist, this person like, oh, you don't tell me what to do or something. Collective, you could be a female 
and this narcissist could be a man, and he don't like women telling him, telling him what to do, or this person don't like nobody telling them what to do. They're a narcissist. So, collective, did, did this person bring something to your attention? No. This person might go off and tell somebody else what they did to you. This person left, some, left something at your door or something like that, and this person going to go off and tell somebody else. They did not fully inform you about something that they gave you or something. But they're going to go off and tell somebody else. And collective, you hold them back from this person because somebody wanted to start a war with you, some type of war. And it could have been like a spiritual war or a war of dominance. <clears throat> Clarify the four pentacles. Yeah, strength. Yeah, you're restricting yourself from someone. So, collective, you could be an earth sign with Leo placements, or you could be a Leo with earth placements. This person could be a cancer or have cancer placements, or this is just telling me somebody wanted to start a war with you. Somebody could have gave you a hexed gift or a hexed item or something. So, collective, this person did not give you the truth about something. But this person is aware. Collective, this person could also have, like, followers. This person could be a leader of some sort, and they have followers. So, I'm hearing, collective, you're not the only one that this person tried to victimize. So, somebody has followers or something. Or, it's like, collective, if this is, like, Somebody you hire, it's like collective, it's like, it could be other people that work under you that don't like you. And this narcissist was like, we all don't like the collective, so I'm going to do something to the collective. And these people was like, you is? And this person was like, yeah, yeah, when I do it, I'm going to come back and tell y'all. Yeah. But collective, you're going to hold back from this person. So it could be a group of people. And this person, like the leader, this person could be a spellcaster or something. Yeah. Clarify the chariot. Collective, you're holding back from something or someone. Yeah, the two, two of wands. Yep. So, collective, I heard you're going to, like, pause someone all the way. So, somebody thought something was going to happen quick or... But it's like, collective, because you held back, this person got to get in the two of wands energy. This person wanted something to happen quick, the chariot. They wanted their way. They wanted to dominate you. But it's like, because you held back, it's like this person had to get in the two of wands energy. So, collective, for some of you guys, somebody want to know what you're doing. Like, why they wasn't able to dominate you. Or this person is making it like their life's mission to dominate you or something. Somebody, so for some of you guys, somebody want to take your position at work. And they doing spell work or dark magic or something. So, this person could be asking you what you're doing. Or, collective, you want to know why somebody asked you something. Collective, for some of you guys, this person wanted to know about your spirituality, what you believe in. Because they're trying to figure out how to dominate you or get a victory over you. And collective, you is, you're is you like... Collective, for some of you guys, this person wanted to bring you into their world. But something didn't work. So this person want to know what go on in your world. Like, this person like, I want to go over there and dominate the collective. Because I... This person didn't get their way or something. And this person right back at two of wands. They was the chariot, but collective something happened. So I'm hearing inner versus outer or a, what's apparent versus what's not apparent or what's obvious versus what's not obvious. 
It's like collective on the outside. You four pentacles, but it's like on the inside, you the strength. This person on the outside, they the chariot, but on the inside, they only two wands. So collective, your major arcana is not obvious or something. Or the way the universe show up for you is not obvious or something. Um, clarify this ace of cups. Yeah, the world. Yeah. Collective, whatever this person did to you before, if they try it again, it's not gonna work. Or this person is like sure, like this time something's gonna work. I also see collective, somebody gave you something or was trying to give you something, but it's something attached to it. It could be a microphone. Somebody gave you something and there's something attached to it. So this person can figure something out. Somebody could have left a microphone or a camera on something. Or somebody wanted you to drink something and then swallow something or something. I also see somebody wanted somebody to swallow something or somebody wanted something to get lodged in somebody's throat or something was supposed to mess up your stomach. If something wanted, if somebody wanted something to get lodged in your throat, it's not, it's going to go to your stomach or somebody wanted something to happen to your stomach or something. Collective, if you starting to feel sick or something, meditate for answers. Don't go back and ask this person what's wrong with you because they're the one who did it to you. And don't alert this person that you're aware or you're becoming suspicious of somebody. Don't alert this person. Because they think they did something or they think they doing something. This person like, cool. Um, I left it on a porch and I'm straight. So, collector, somebody could be waiting for you to die. Um, this person could be waiting for you to quit your job. This person could have put a conflict spell in your energy. This person, like, I'm straight. It's going to work. Or something. And, collective, other people know about this, too. It could be this person's family or something. Other people know about this. They're waiting for something to, like, happen. To you. And you like trusted this person or something like that. So collective, somebody is going off and telling people something about something they did. They could be bragging. But collective, it's something that this person don't know. Or collective, you don't know this person doing this. Clarify the six of pentacles. I mean the six of wands. <laughs> yeah, the eight of cups. Yep. Collective, somebody don't have feelings for you. This person was able to do this to you because they emotionally checked out. So some of y'all be careful if this narcissist is like an ex or something. Somebody emotionally checked out. It's like this person will do harm to you and they don't care because they just emotionally checked out. Or... Collective, when this person offend you, they're going to go back and tell other people what they did to you. And somebody is going to emotionally walk away from this narcissist. Somebody going to say, that ain't right. That ain't right. So, Collective, over the weekend, it could be more against you than for you. But wait until the fall. Yeah, it could be just one person that that's saying this ain't right. This is not right or collective is more for you than against you. Or it's more against you than for you, but you still gonna be all right. 
just give something time. Because somebody's offending you and they're going back and telling between five to eight other people. Somebody's offending you and they're going back telling people what they're doing to you too. Yeah. <coughs> Collective, don't ask this person. Meditate. Because it's the, the person that you trust. This is the person that's doing this to you. And they could have emotionally checked out. Or you dealing with a business competitor or something. And they want your position or something. Or they just want to dominate you or something. What's the tea with the four pentacles and strength? Collective, for some of you guys, this person do have sacred sight or some type of gifts. But they're not doing it for you. They're not doing it for you. They're going to like lie to you or something. Yeah. And this person did this on purpose. It's a reason why this person don't like you. And you, for some of y'all, you make more money than this person. You're not doing something as fast as this person wants you to do it. And you snap back after the baby. What's the tea? What's the tea with this four pentacles with strength? Some of y'all might also confront this person, but you might humble yourself just a little bit. I see it the other way around too. Collective, for some of y'all, this could be an earth sign with Leo placements, or this is a Leo with earth placements. And collective, you might approach this person in this cancer energy. You might confront somebody, but collective, you're not a fool. So you, it's like you could be patient and planning on leaving this person behind or getting rid of somebody or leaving them behind. You patient and planning because you suspicious or you figure something out. And collective, you the chariot and you going to say, why am I sick? Or what did you give me? Or something. And collective, you going to get in that six of wands because you emotionally walked away from this person or you no longer trust this person or something. Because collective, this Ace of Cups could also be something the universe gave you. And the universe could be saying, are you crazy? So-and-so is doing this to you. So-and-so is doing that to you. Practice self-love and Eight of Cups. And collective, you like, okay, cool. I'm, I'm done. Yeah. Somebody could be a cancer with fire placements. Collective, you could be a cancer with fire placements or this person is. But the universe going to give y'all a cup and say, are you crazy? Practice self-love. Do you realize what so-and-so doing to you? Wrap that up. Don't, don't, don't trust so-and-so. And the universe could be saying, I'll explain the rest to you later. That's why you two wine. The universe could be saying, you tell somebody no, or you stay away from somebody, or confront so-and-so, and I'll tell you the rest later. Just get away from so-and-so, I'll tell you the rest later, or something like that. Yeah, divination abuser. Yeah. So, collective, you should hold back from a divination abuser. Or this person. To div yeah. Collective, for some of you guys, if you're the one confronting this person, this person going to hold back from offending you. Because they're a divination abuser. Or you're holding back from a divination abuser. Um, collective, for some of you guys, this person is trying to accuse you of being a divination abuser. And this person trying to hurt you or something. And you like, oh, you think I'm a divination abuser? Oh, I'll hold back from you. You trying to prove I'm a divination abuser? I'll hold back from you. What's the tea with the chariot with the two of wands?
Yeah, threatening. Yeah. Yeah. So somebody could have threatened y'all. Or this person feel threatened by you. But if this person, if this karmic feel threatened by you, it's unwarranted. This person a narcissist. They crazy. This person could have checked out emotionally. Or they got demon attachments or entity attachments or something. This person could be schizophrenic. Intimidating, threatened, bothered. Collective, for some of you guys, be careful of the police. For other you guys, if you know somebody that's a cop or something, um, somebody don't like somebody because they're a cop or something. Or y'all be careful of a cop or something like that. I also see somebody could have hit a cop car and somebody's exaggerating something collective. You could have hit a cop car or something. Or something like that. Or collective, y'all be careful of somebody trying to chastise you. Collective, it could be like six people like um, trying to chastise you. But it's like this, these people don't mean you no good. Collective, sound like you hit a cop car. Or you could have did something. Collective, somebody is saying, oh, that happened to you because... You need to start taking vitamins. And this person think they got a regimen for you. But this person want to give you this regimen because they want your spot or something. This person saying, see, if you was eating right, taking your vitamins, if you lose weight, if you gain weight, you wouldn't have did that. You hit that cop car, you ought to be ashamed of yourself or something like that. So, Collector, be careful of somebody using, like, something you did and somebody's just exploiting you. And this person wants you to, like, trust them to, like, help you become, like, a better person when this person really don't like you. Somebody's using something you did or a mistake or something you made. And this person was like, damn, how dumb can you be? Who go around hitting cop cars? You need to take some of these vitamins or start drinking water or something. Something wrong with you. But this person don't even like you. They never did. <clears throat> What's going on with the Ace of Cups in the world? A boss bitch. Yeah. So, collective, somebody threatened by you because you're a boss bitch. And this person wanted to bring you to tears. Somebody wanted to make a boss bitch cry. Or this person want to be a boss bitch. Or they want your position or something at work. So they gave you something to make you cry or something. Or a collective, if you the manager, if you the business owner, the universe is going to hand you this cup and say, are you losing your mind? You're the boss. You're the manager. You're the business owner. Get your stuff back in control because you got a karmic in your energy. Know your position. Know your rights. Get yourself together. Because you can be, like, in charge of something.
what's the tea with the six of wands and the eight of cups yeah ignore them yep so some of you guys you are the six of wands and you're ignoring this divination abuser for some of you guys this person is a divination abuser or they're trying to prove you're a divination abuser. They put something in your energy or trying to get you to drink something. And then this person going to ignore you. This person might block you. Because it's like they tried to offend you or they offended you. Then this person was like, Psh. they just started ignoring you or something like that. Or somebody's ignoring you because you a boss bitch or something. Yeah. Collective, for some of you guys, um, your stomach could be hurting or you could be choking. And this person ignored you. Or you could be having trouble at work and this person know what's going on. Because they could put a, a conflict spell in your energy. And this person ignoring you. Because they did something or this person thinks something about to happen or something. So it's like collective. Say like this person gave you something to drink or they sell vitamins or whatever. And they give you some. And they say, take some, like, now. And then, in two days, take two more. Collective, this person going to give you instructions. And then they're going to block you. Because it's like, this person is aware. When you take these vitamins, something might get lodged in your throat. Or they, they're expecting something to happen to your stomach. And this person, like, <laughs> it wouldn't happen. So, it's no better not call me. Somebody ain't no good. So something is not FDA approved. Somebody's doing something like under the table or this is spiritual work or spiritual practices. And this person is trying to give you their regimen to something. And this person want to go unnoticed. This could even be a secret society with that six of wands. And there's somebody doing something to you or trying to and this person like, yep. And when they take effect, I'm not going to be there. Yeah. 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 Collective, this person might also move out of town or try to move out of state because this person a thief. This person could be trying to steal your life, steal your position at work, steal money from you. They could have offended you emotionally. For some of y'all, be careful because this person trying to get you evicted. And this person a thief. This thief is trying to move or this thief is trying to get you evicted or something. Collective, somebody do not like you. Or they don't like somebody you know. Or this could be going on with somebody y'all know or something. Collective, if you guys are dealing with, with like somebody you connected to and you trying to figure out what's going on with somebody in their life, somebody that you're fond of, you like, what the hell going on with so-and-so? Collective, meditate for answers. And y'all going to find out the truth about what happened to you or someone you're fond of before the winter come. Y'all going to figure something out. Because yeah. somebody is not really in a seer. Somebody's not really a seer or something like that. <clears throat> Somebody could be an extremist as well. This person could be an extremist. So collective, this could be like you being a terror reader and somebody was trying to kill you or something because you're a terror reader and you like who's the who's the criminal who's the demon 
I'm just reading cards and you're trying to kill me. So, um, you not know better than me. If you think tarot is demons, you're not, it's like this person think they called to kill you or something. Somebody is an extremist. Because you read tarot or something. Collective, you don't bother nobody. Somebody is an extremist. They don't know. Somebody don't know something. They just, they're an extremist. And they think they were called to like kill you or something like that. This person, nah. This is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, so y'all could be dealing with an extremist. And this person is talking about you a demon, but this person a thief. It's like what's the difference? Yeah. Yep. Collective, for some of y'all, this was your twin. And they don't know nothing about them scales. Your twin is like not a seer. They don't really comprehend uh, justice and what's wrong and what's right. Or somebody don't know about the scales. They don't, this person don't know. For some of y'all, this was your twin. And y'all could have been like a a um a tarot reader or something. And your twin was trying to kill you or something. Because you read tarot. Or you made more money than your twin or something. It's like, really? Who the demon? Who's really the, th the demon? Something like that. But collective, for some of you guys, this is not about your spiritual practices. Collective, for some of you guys, somebody could be using the excuse. It's not the fact that you read tarot, but that's what they're telling people. That's why they're offending you, or that's why they're what they're going to tell you. That's not true. That's not why this person did this. I heard it was trash. The reason why somebody offended you or trying to, their reasoning is trash. Because really, it's because you make more money than them. They want it to, like, blow up at you, but it's like, they couldn't, and you snap back after the baby or something. Or it's like, collected this person suspicious of you because you read tarot or you listen to tarot, but this person be at home and doing spell work on people. And in reality, this person mad because they put a spell, work, a spell on you and it broke. And this person saying, oh, I did this and did that because the collective listens to tarot or they read tarot. And they at home putting a spell at you, spell on you for nine months. Or something. What's the spell with divination abuser? Yeah, stress. So somebody wanted to stress y'all out. Or this person going to be stressed over the weekend. What's the spell with threatening? Yeah, deranged. Yeah. So y'all dealing with somebody that's deranged. Collective, somebody that's deranged is threatened by you. And they probably wanted to cause you stress. Or this person will be stressed out over the weekend. Yeah. This person could be a divination abuser too. Because divination is not only tarot cards. Uh, what's this spell with? Boss bitch? Jealous? Yep. This could be our child's mother or child's father. 
somebody probably wanted custody of the kids or collective um this is like your competitor at work a co-worker or something or your competitor in love and this person is jealous because you a boss bitch and they wanted your position so this could be somebody you was fighting with custody over the kids or something like that what's going on with ignoring yep no limit a distorted feminine Nothing can stop them. Continues on without restriction, going their own way. Yep. So, collective, this person offended you because they felt as though you didn't have no limits or they didn't like the fact that you, <laughs> you could be very high vibrational or you could be very successful and this person didn't like that. <coughs> or this person didn't have no limits. Of what they would do to you. Or how low they would go to a finger or something. They didn't have no limits. Yeah. Yeah. So something like that going on. go get my other deck hold on all right so let me use this deck real quick all right spirit what's going on with divination abuser and stress losing sleep yeah yep so a divination abuser could be stressed and losing sleep, or this is what this person wanted to happen to you. Collective, for some of you guys, this person that was trying to offend you, it's a person, it's one person, or it's going to be like eight people. Somebody's going to say, that's not right. That's not right. You're going too far. That's not right. Or something. Yeah, somebody's going too far with something. Yeah. So, collective, uh, yeah, somebody's going to be losing sleep over the weekend. This person going to also find out that something didn't work. So, somebody might also embarrass themselves in front of, like, five to, like, eight people. Because somebody's going to find out something didn't work, what they were trying to do to you. Collective, if you the manager or something... It's like you might fire this person or something. Worry, we playing events thinking about you. Yeah. Yep. Collector, somebody is going to be losing sleep because you four pentacles. So you held back from somebody. Yep. What's going on with threatening and deranged? Yeah, a psycho. This could be your psycho ex. This could be your child's mother, child's father. This could be like your lover's ex. Psycho ex obsessed won't let go. Yeah. So this is y'all ex-lover or y'all competitor in love. Your lover's ex or something. Somebody a psycho. But this person gonna be losing sleep over the weekend. What's going on with jealous and um boss bitch? Family? Yep. Y'all can have a family with this person or have kids by this person. 
Or this person could be your family member. This person could be your non-romantic family member. So collective, for some of you guys, this psycho person is like your family member. And this person should, this person knew something was going to work because y'all family. And this could be not romantic. Mm. Well, collective, this is somebody you had kids by or your ex-wife or ex-husband or something. What's going on with no limits in this moment? Yeah, left you hanging. Yeah, this person left you hanging. Yep. No closure, no contact. Left you on red. Y'all dealing with a narcissist. And this person was jealous. And collected, this person didn't tell you what was inside that water. Or they didn't tell you that the vitamins was really water or something. Somebody didn't tell you something, then they left you hanging or something. So somebody gonna have to come down off a high horse. Collective for some of y'all, this was y'all twin. And they wasn't awake yet. Collective, for some of you guys, somebody did this when they was high or they was on drugs. And it's like these people, it's like your twin going to be looking for drugs and somebody going to say, no, you ain't getting nothing else. Because you did that to the collective like that? No, nah, you ain't getting no drugs. So it's like y'all twins still not awakened. They don't realize that they were wrong about something, but it's like they ain't going to be able to get high. Or something. Because they left you hanging. Somebody a narcissist or an extremist. And then went off bragging about it. Or it's like collective. These people was coming up against you, but they did not tell this person to do what they did to you. This person could have went overboard with something. And somebody going to say, you know what? We we ain't tell you to do all that. Why you do that? Or something like that. Or it's like, you know, this can be like um, someone that you share a fourth house with this person. And collective... These people is saying, so-and-so is like us. So-and-so Jamaican like us. So-and-so white like us. So-and-so black like us. You did, Why you do that like that? Because somebody could have been a part of y'all fourth house. Y'all was like family or y'all was of the same culture or something. And somebody like, no, no, no. You went too far. Or this person going to realize that they went too far because they're not going to be able to get high. Or something like that. Or a spirit is making somebody tap into their emotions. Or something. Mm -hmm. Somebody left y'all hanging. They didn't give you no closure. But collective, that's okay. Because spirit going to give you closure before the winter comes. Spirit going to give you closure. Or spirit going to make this person come back in your energy and give you closure about what they did in the past or what they trying to do over the weekend. Yeah. This person left you hanging. They was ignoring you. Collective, for some of you guys, somebody did this to you in the past. And you was about to do something with this person again, 
And collective, that ace of cups going to come out the sky so fast and say, are you crazy? Don't you buy nothing from so-and-so. Don't drink nothing from so-and-so. Don't date so-and-so. Don't have sex with so-and-so. You know the last time you and so-and-so got together, they left you hanging and then they ignored you. That ace of cups going to come out the sky so fast. And spirit going to say, practice self-love and no or something. And y'all going to hold back. Y'all might have to remember something that this person did to you in the past. So, Collective, you could have been hanging out with this person. And it's like they gave you something to drink and you started choking or something. And it's like you was telling this person like to call 911 and they wouldn't. They were just standing there looking at you. Or uh, something. Collective, for some of you guys, your family member liked that your lover. And they wanted you out of the picture. Because they liked that your lover. Or something. And somebody left you hanging or something. Collective, this could be your child's mother, child's father. Or like your non-romantic family member. Or this is somebody... That you work with. But this person probably give you readings or something. Like when y'all not at work. Collective. Somebody is not who you think they is. Somebody could be jealous of you. And they're a narcissist and an extremist. Somebody not who you think they is. Or something. Alright. Spirit. What's going on with the collective in um, career and like finances over the weekend? Yeah, avoid money schemes. Yeah. So, collective, this person might bring you a money scheme. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. This person. Look at that emoji right there. Collective, somebody's trying to get you with a money scheme. Or collective, somebody wants you to confront them so they can sue you or something. So like I said, say like all y'all getting on the bus, y'all going on a road trip, y'all all work together. And you know this karmic was messing around with your lover. Or y'all could have been somewhere and you started choking and this karmic ignored you. But it's like... This karmic wants you to say, no, you can't come with us. And then it's like this karmic going to put a complaint in. Collective, for some of y'all, this karmic a tarot reader. Or this karmic could be um, a minority of some sort. And this karmic going to say, you told them no because they're a minority. And that's not the reason why you, like you wanted to tell this karmic no. You told this karmic no because they offended you on a personal level when y'all wasn't at work. And this karmic, when they put in a complaint at work, they going to tell them you discriminating against them. And that's this karmic's plan to say you was discriminating or something. This karmic could be a minority of some sort. This karmic might say you 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 um told them no because they a terror reader. <laughs> or um they gay or lesbian or they Jamaican or they they're a minority or this karmic a woman or something. <clears throat> this karmic gonna try to sue you. But it's something happened off the books or something. So, Collective, if y'all going on a road trip and this karmic want to go, let them go. Just keep an eye on them or don't fool with this karmic. Because they want you to tell them no. Afraid of change. Yeah. For some of y'all, y'all might have to um, rebuke this karmic in some type of way. Maybe confront this karmic or something. So, collective, avoid money schemes. Because somebody, it's a karmic in your energy that's afraid to change. 
And because they're afraid to change, they be doing money schemes or something. Or somebody trying to scheme you out of money. But this person afraid to change. Collector, for some of you guys, the money scheme is you paying for something. And it's a scheme collective because when you pay this person for a service, they not doing what you want them to do. They doing something else. Because this person afraid to change. And this person is a narcissist of some sort or they're an extremist. This person don't want to accept the fact that they wrong because they think you're wrong or they think you a demon or something like that. Keep hustling. Don't, don't give up. Yeah. So collective, avoid money schemes. Especially from a karmic, because this person is afraid to change. But you keep hustling and you don't give up. Or somebody wants you to get so mad that you quit or something. Yeah, get alone. Collector, for some of you guys. You could be asking this karmic for some money and this karmic going to ignore you. Yeah. Or y'all could be asking this karmic to like give you some money that they owe you. And this karmic going to ignore you. So go get, get a loan. So is this karma owe y'all money? For some of y'all, this karma owe y'all money. And this karma is going to ignore you. So y'all might have to get a loan. Or this person needs to go get a loan. And stop trying to steal from you. Or stop taking your money when they know they're not doing with the money what they're supposed to do with it. Or they're not giving you the correct product. Or they're not doing the correct spell. And they're doing it on purpose. So for some of y'all, this karmic be doing stuff for just for the money. Yeah, this karmic be doing stuff just for the money. And this karmic need to like... For some of y'all, this karmic is into, like, um, this karmic victimized, like, the karmic enters, like, the spiritual arena or the religious arena for money. But spirit is saying, leave that alone and go somewhere and get a loan, like, on a professional level, like, go to a bank or something and just apply for a loan and stop killing people or something like that. This karmic be doing too much. But it's like this karmic don't want to do something that's like legit. It's like this karmic be on a don't be on the radar. They be like on the low or something. It's like instead of this karmic trying to go get like a loan from a bank, it's like this karmic uh, try to like go in people energy, offend them, and then sue people. And then it's coming to be saying, oh, you offended me because I'm a minority. Or something is coming to be doing. So this karmic could definitely be a lover of money as well. And this karmic need to go get a loan or something like that. Collective, if this karmic used to steal money from you in the past... Collective, you four pentacles, you holding back, or you ain't got no money. And this karma might as well go get along. Or it's like, collective, if you got kids by this karma, it's like you probably don't have a job right now. And this karma might as well go get along. Collective, for some of y'all, this your child's mother. And this 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 karma got you injured, and you could be out of work. And it's like, how you going to pay child support and you out of work? You four pentacles. And collective, you might be out of work for a long time because this karmic injured you. So this karmic might as well go get along. 
because you're not going to be able to pay child support for a while because it's something this karmic did. Trying to dominate you or something. Yep. Mm hmm This karmic afraid to change, and they need to go get along. So this could be your ex-wife or something. And this karmic is accustomed to you taking care of them or y'all being married or something. This karmic don't want to accept some type of change. <sighs> or something. So I'm in the day of something like that going on over here. Collective, whatever this karmic did to offend you is going to backfire. It's backfiring. It's going to backfire and it's already backfiring. It's in the process of backfiring. Or something like that. So, collective, you might have to go get a loan because this karmic not going to pay you back. Or this karmic need to go get a loan and stop trying to steal from you or rob you or something like that. This karmic at this point is like beating a dead horse, basically. Spell work or not. Spirit is like, no, it's done. Yeah. So y'all four pentacles is the backfire. Or you guys are six of wands and that's the backfire. Y'all might also tell people what this karmic did to you. Y'all might start talking about something or tell on this karmic. And that's the backfire. It's either this four pentacles or the six of wands. But for most of y'all, y'all the four pentacles. But y'all gonna hold back from this karmic. Or you're not going to argue with this karmic because this karmic wanted to argue so they can like go off on you or something like that. If this karmic asking y'all questions, don't answer this karmic questions. Because this karmic want to know what you be doing, why they spell not, why they spell work not working or something. For some of y'all, this was over a position at work. For some of y'all, this karmic wanted y'all lover and was trying to get you hurt over your lover or something. This karmic was thinking they'll be a better lover than you. For other of you guys, this was like a custody battle over the kids or something. So this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and collective things.